Hey, so this is video 7 of Div 4, um, continuing from where we left off. You just want to set up the uh, .NET PSX12 web service page thing. Uh, so we're just going to continue off. Let's see. So we just made this button, just named it BTN Ledger Engine, change the text to it, double click it, paste the code that we got, what we pasted in the previous video from right here except for these four things, which we copy and paste now at the very top. Not all of it, nope, just that much, okay. So keep the rest that you already had. Um, let's see, double click. And build it, no errors, it's nice. Um, real quick, go ahead and make sure you change this, comment that out and comment, comment that in. You want to be able to do the data, uh, data echoer first. You don't want to do anything with this yet. This is dangerous if you if you continue uh, you could mess up your ledger engine thing or the, you could mess up your uh, journals and all that and it could make it a little more difficult. So uh, this basically this one right here will send it to the ledger engine. This one will just kind of show you what it says uh, show it show you what it would send if you had actually sent it which is what we want first before we actually send it you know you know what I'm saying so uh, let's see so we make sure this one's not commented this one's not green uh, we want this one right here to be the one that's green okay um, build it good and so yep data echoer that's what we're going to use first Right now, at this point, um, we can go and run it just to see. Make sure data echoer is um, the thing that is uh, going to work for us. You know, data echoer, and it should come up with this right here. Do you want to send it via HTTP, which is what we want? The data echoer. This is what it would send at this point. This is not what we want, though. We don't want it to look like this. This is sending items we want it to do journals so and we don't want it to do a cat we want it to do a, a journal voucher and this is um, not what we want so say uh, no you could say yes if you wanted to but just say no because you don't need to do that right now um, so what do we want let's check that out if you go to this link in the description ledger engine um, if you click on You don't need that yet. Uh, if you click on the next one of the next links, um, or you just click on one of these, 125 doesn't matter. Um, you should come up with this page right here. This would be the last 25 emails that got posted on the Ledger Engine. This is the last 200 that actually had something starting with uh, the correct format. So if we typed 1091. This is someone who actually did it correctly in the previous semesters. So you see how he did it. Uh, it actually does the ledger trial, trial balance uh, correctly. Basically this right here is what he sent the ledger engine. The ledger engine showed him this and did and showed him this. So all we need to do is set it up so that the ledger engine gets sent this thing right here. Basically, this right here, 1091, it was his enterprise ID. This right here is a date and time of sending the uh, the journal voucher. This right here is actually the date of the journal, not the date of the. Um, well, it's supposed to be the date of the journal, but it's um, at this point is actually the same as the date that he sent it. That he sent it, so um, you know, it's going to be more than likely not the date that you sent it though, but. Uh, then you've got um, all these entries. ENT is stand, stands for entries or entry, I think. I'm not really sure. I'm just guessing. Uh, this is the ledger ID uh, ledger ID number. This is the um, this right here is the decimal point right there would be where the decimal point is. It's just two you know, decimal points after the uh, you know yeah. Um, let's see, because uh, it's a money 
money column, I guess. And this is basically going to be that uh, you know the money that's for the uh, journal. So if we actually ran this, let's just look at it real quick. Um, display JV. Let's choose uh, 15, I guess. That 1,000 right there, that would be what is right here. And this 2750.08, which is negative because it's in parentheses, that would be right here, except instead of saying 0.08, it would actually have to say just 08 instead of point. It wouldn't say it wouldn't have a decimal. It would just assume that it's two decimal points and no more and no less. Uh, and so we put in all the entries for this journal, which would be three in this case. So it would probably only be three lines in this case, right? And right here is a journal voucher. Uh, it's like a checker kind of thing. Checks that it sent it correctly. This right here is actually the number of lines above uh, the journal, I guess. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten is correct. Uh, Thirty-two, one, twenty is the sum of the ledger IDs. And that's just another way to make sure that the uh, data got sent correct through the email to the ledger engine. It's just a checker, you know. Um, and so, yep, so we want to send this. And we can use this thing right here to check that it looks just like what we want it to look like. You see? So, um, yeah, so this code right here is actually useless to us, except for, uh, well, up above here is kind of useless. Down here is good. Uh, somewhere down here, it's, um, it's okay. It's, uh, let's see. Let's see, let me just find where it's, uh, where we want to come in at. We want to do something at some point. I think it's right here. Um... So let's say that we uh, oops, stop debugging first. Say that uh, rename this cat x action equals um, n you know, new string or whatever. I don't know. So now when we run it, it's going to show. Do you want to send this to the via uh, HTTP new string? This is now, so we can now make this new string anything we want. So let's have it generate whatever's all of this right here, the date and the uh, three things here, whatever's in the list box. Let's have it generate it and all into a string in the format that we want. Um, and usually I don't like to make it all in one method. This right here is a method. I like to kind of break it up a lot so I can reuse things. So what I'm going to do is, uh, it's this new string right here, so it's going to come down here. I'm going to say, uh, you know, private function get journal string um, as string. So this basically means this is a function that's going to return a string for us. Um, let's see how much time we have. Five, six minutes. And so this will get the journal string that we actually want instead of the one that has the items and cat stuff and all that stuff. Uh, so let's see here. Um, we're going to first want to have a nice variable that says uh, what our uh, enterprise ID is. So you're going to want to change this actually to instead of 9999 you're going to want it to be mine was 1028 but you don't want to use that. You want to use um, see, there's mine right there. Um, you're gonna look for your name on this web page. Should be in the description, or you can click on this button right here. List all current enterprises. Get you the same page. Um, and you're gonna want to use your uh, your ID. And in case you're thinking, hey, I could use someone else's ID and mess his up or something, you wouldn't want to do that because it'll show your IP address and you'll get in trouble. Uh, be pretty easy to find you. Um, so uh, let's see. So that's where we left off. Let's see. So uh, then we would want to have the string that we would want to send. So 
dem send text, I guess, as string equals, you know, just blank. Because we're going to start adding to it. Um, you saw where it showed the two checkers, you know, the two things that check that it got sent correctly. Um, there were the lot number of lines and the, uh, the sum of the ledger. So we're going to add two variables here. We're going to say dim lines as integer because it's going to be a count. Um, and then you're going to also have dim ledger sum as uh, integer equals zero. And um, yep, so this, these will be the two checkers. Anytime we add a new line, we're going to say lines, you know, plus equals one. Anytime we say we add to the, uh, we add a ledger or whatever, we're going to sum that to the ledger sum, add that to the ledger sum. So now we come down, say, uh, start with this first thing. It says, I went ahead and copied and pasted 10, 9, 10, uh, 91s, uh, his, the two successful things he did. So he says, this first one right here is, um, blah, 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 10, 9, the enterprise ID, and then the date and time with hours, minutes, seconds, or whatever. Um, so we're going to go and use that, and we're going to go ahead and, uh, separate it all by these little, uh, asterisks things. So we come down here, we're going to say, um, you know, send text, we add it to our text that we're doing, that we're going to send to the journal, say, asterisk, uh, you know, asterisk, boom, I think that's what it looked like, and then plus, add it, add the enterprise ID, and, um, and then plus, we're going to add one of that, one of those asterisks, and then um, plus format, uh, I think it's now maybe, um, comma, four things for the year, two for the month, two for the day, two for the hour, two for the minute, and two for the, for, two for the second. And then end that, and say, um, dim, uh, I guess, journal as string uh, equals cbjv date dot selected item. And this will basically the combo box, you know, the combo box that has all the journal dates for you. This dim journal variable is now going to be the string for the date, so it's just going to be the date basically, and it's going to be unique, which is nice. Um, so here, so it's going to say send text uh, plus SQL VBCRLF. This basically right here says insert a new line, which you remember when we do a new line, we say lines. Um, at this point, you could just say lines equals one. You'd also say lines plus equals one, um, both being the same exact thing. But uh, let's see. And then we could say, um, You say ledger sum equals zero again. Doesn't ma actually. You really don't need to. So yeah, you don't need it. Yeah, yeah, you don't need it. Um, but if you do dim. Let's see. Uh, basically, what we want to do now is. Um, let's see how much time. <sighs> I'm gonna continue with the next video, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep on going with this. The next thing I do is gonna ex take take a second to explain, but uh, I'm just gonna clear it and stop it.